I'd like to show you how I make my visors. You are going to need a 3D printer, some PLA plastic filament, a template, a cutting mat, a piece of A4 plastic acetate, a scraper, a hole puncher, some scissors and some elastic. First you start by turning on your 3D printer. Since I have already been making these masks, I have already uploaded my visor file onto my 3D printer. That file is called a G-code. Next I'm going to get my PLA filament. The PLA filament is what we use to make the headbands out of. The reason we use the PLA filament is because it is biodegradable, which means that it is not harmful to our planet. Now I'm going to put this onto this reel here. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. I am now going to cut the end of this filament at an angle. Now I'm going to feed it into this little hole here, ready to print. Next you need to set up your 3D printer by using your LED screen. Next, first you're going to press this bar here. Then you're going to go down to prepare and you're going to go all the way down to preheat PLA. Then you're going to go down to preheat PLA bed. You're going to repeat this action for a second and third time. But on the second time you're going to press preheat PLA end. And on the third time you are going to press preheat PLA. On the fourth time you're going to go all the way down to pre from print from TF and you're going to go to your uploaded G-code file. After that, you need to wait for your bed to heat and your extruder heating to come out. Making sure your extruder heating is not blocked, you need to wait for your headband to print. It should take about an hour and 15 minutes to do. So while that's printing, it's time to make the shield part of the visor out of this A4 plastic acetate. Don't forget to put on some gloves. Using your cutting mat, you're going to place your plastic acetate on top of that. Then you're going to place your template on top of that and so that you can punch some holes in it. Then you need to place your acetate on the top of your template and cut it so that they're the same size. Once your headband has finished printing, it should look like this. After that, you need to attach your plastic acetate to four nodules at the bottom of your headband. The next step is to take your elastic and make two small holes in them, one on each side. I do this by folding my elastic and making one small snip in each side. Finally, you need to attach your elastic to two small hooks at the back of your visor, just like this. And there you go, there's your finished result. And this is how they're worn.